result. Chris is calling from Trowbridge. Chris, good morning. Hi, Nigel. Hi, and this is a very complex question, isn't it? It is, um, well, well, it, it is and I, but I'm asking it because, you know, I, I, I really do think that when it comes to these final divisions on Mrs May's bill, and I, and I don't know whether it'll happen, but we may find, uh, you know, amendments coming before the Commons on second referendums or whatever it is, you know, our MPs are going to be bombarded, bombarded by their constituents uh, and bombarded by their party whips. And I, I'm really asking this ultimate question of to whom should they owe their loyalty in this very special case. Well, sure. Well, you see, you know, um, in our parliamentary democracy, you know, the the way it works at the moment probably stems back to Simon de Montfort in the 13th century. Yep. And what we're looking at is we're looking at um, MPs are representatives. They're not delegates. They're representatives. So they're, um, you know, their their main um the main thing that they should be doing is doing what they feel is best for the country and for their constituents. Now, also, I'd just like to say one thing. Also, remember, Thatcher said referendums were the device of dictators and demagogues. Mm -hmm. And I would argue, I would argue that distilling a question to something as simple as this and implying and implying that there is in some way democracy is in some way being usurped by MPs acting as representatives rather than delegate, delegates um, is the kind of question a demagogue would ask. Well, I don't think Switzerland is a country that is open to demagoguery um, at all. And, of course, you can call a referendum there on local issues, on canton issues, and indeed on national issues, and it works incredibly effectively. Uh, much of America, of course, operates on ballot measures. You know, every November, uh, people can vote on a variety of things, whether legalise cannabis in their state or whatever else it sure. may be. Um, and, yeah. and, and, and America is a very democratic system indeed. You know, they can sack, yeah, yeah. You know, they yeah. can sack people and they do, you know. Um, yeah. The general big point here is right, isn't it? That our, our MPs aren't delegates. You know, that they, they represent us for a period of time and we judge them at the end of that time. Yeah. But don't yeah. you think, Chris, that in the case of this referendum, that actually, because they asked us to make this decision, they are delegated actually, I think, and honour-bound to carry it out. I think, if, I think if we were to take the 1975 referendum, uh -huh. where a supermajority won, then I think you are right. But of course, because the majority was so slim, um, and um, the will of the people, in inverted commas, is transient, it changes. It, it, you know, it, it, in, in, um, Octo in the referendum in 2016, that's effectively, because it was so close, it's effectively an opinion poll on one day in June 2016. It was like four percent. It's quite a lot, really, isn't it? That could, that could, that, you know, that can change from day to day. It's, it's that slim. I don't and agree I think, with that. I, think, I, I don't quite agree with that. I understand that it's not. It's not two-thirds a third, as 1975 was. And I take that point, absolutely, of course, as being a very valid point. Uh, but, Chris, if this referendum was not to be delivered and we were forced to vote again, what do you think that would do to people's trust in democracy? Well, I think, you know, the argument against... I'm going I'm to contradict myself now because I, I'm sorry, <laughs> we are, well you said it was complex Chris I, <laughs> Chris, I tell you what I'm actually I'm out of time I've enjoyed the conversation this is a very difficult debate but please get involved in it you're listening to the Sunday edition of Nigel Farage show here on LBC it's now 11.30 and time for the news with Philip Christikos at least nine Conservative Party ministers reportedly want to